Each year, an estimated 385,000 needle stick injuries affect hospital personnel. On average, more than 1,000 needle sticks occur each day, with many occurring in the delivery room during umbilical cord blood collection. Delivery room personnel who sustain these injuries risk being exposed to bloodborne pathogens, including hepatitis B and C and HIV. Seroconversion can result in significant morbidity or death. The economic cost of a single needle stick can be upwards of several hundred thousand dollars. The direct costs of needle sticks include baseline testing, follow-up labs for both patient and healthcare worker, the cost of prophylactic medication, as well as psychological testing. Needle sticks are also responsible for lost productivity as reporting, treatment, paperwork, and follow-up are all necessary after an incident. Introducing Umbilicup, a safe, dependable, and easy to use device for cord blood collection. Umbilicup has no exposed needles, eliminates blood splatter, and is safely disposable. Used in 73 hospitals across 24 states, the Umbilicup has redefined cord blood collection, and with hundreds of thousands sold, doctors and nurses consistently give Umbilicup excellent reviews. The Umbilicup has a variety of uses, it is mainly used to collect cord blood samples to determine blood type, RH factor, and other tests. It can also be used as a blood transport device and as a storage device for blood gas. It is user-friendly, safe, and cost-effective. Designed to minimize needle stick risk, the Umbilicup conforms to OSHA and CDC NIOSH requirements and helps healthcare professionals abide by the Needle Stick Safety and Prevention Act which requires healthcare employers to evaluate and implement safety engineered sharps devices and needleless systems. The umbilicup can collect cord blood using two different methods. Method one is the preferred method as it uses gravity flow to collect blood while the cord is still attached to the placenta. After the cord is clamped in a customary manner, the free end of the cord is allowed to drain into umbilicup until sufficient blood has pooled. A second method, the double clamp method, can also be used. A five to six inch section of umbilical cord is double clamped, cut, and placed inside the umbilicup chamber. The clamp is then released and the blood is allowed to pool in the bottom of the chamber. Regardless of which method is used, the lid is then placed on the container and an evacuated storage tube is inserted into the sheath protected needle at the bottom of the umbilicup. Blood immediately flows into the evacuated container and the bottom of the umbilicup is capped on a flat surface. The umbilicup can also be used for blood transport by adding ice to the top of the cup and sealing the cup with the provided lid. Since umbilicup's introduction into the market, hospitals have embraced this convenient, effective, and safe method for collecting cord blood. For the safety of your hospital personnel and patients, choose Umbilicup.